Hey masters, today I'll be talking about mock APIs. I want to introduce you to the network API that it is going to help us to monitor and modify network traffic uh, in our web application. So I hope that you enjoy it and let's take a look of how it works. Masters, I wanted to tell you that the application that I'll be using is running in my um, local computer, right? And also um, you can access it, access the repo and run it as well in your computer uh, just looking for this particular repository testing lists you just have to install the, the dependencies right and uh, execute this command npm start and that's it you're gonna have this particular to-do application in your computer as well and you're gonna be capable to make the same examples that i'll be doing Okay, I just wanted to tell you that and let's start with the video. Right, masters, um, let me show you the first request a method that I want you to understand. And it is the abort, okay? Basically, we can abort request using page.route or route.abort. And the example that a playwright has for us is basically how you can avoid that when you load your application and your requests for the CSS files are made instead of having them uh, correctly loaded we can abort them right and let me explain you how you can do it let me open here my um the framework the demo framework that i have for you okay and basically we're gonna have a couple of a uh, a simple line of code to get the the css files aborted okay and you can see that i have uh, describe which means basically a test suite and also you can see a couple of uh, blocks here that is a before each hook and also a test a simple test method okay and for the before each i'll be using the context of my describe to create a, a context that route okay let's understand what is a context basically it's a it's an isolated browser context instance created for each test it means that a, every single tux, a context is going to be isolated between each other, all right? So that's why I'll be using a before each for every single test, because if I use a before, it is not gonna work properly, okay? So you can see that once I have used the context, I'll be using as well the route method, okay? The, this route method is gonna provide us with the capability to modify network requests that are made by any page in the browser context, okay? So uh, the first parameter here is going to be a string or a regular expression, all right? So I'll be using a CSS regular expression here just to see and find every single request that has CSS, all right? And then I'll be using the, well, this particular line of code. Uh, the meaning of this is basically that we are gonna have every single route here and I'll be aborting them using the route that abort method. Well, as you, as you can see, aborts the route's requests, request. And that's it, guys. That's why um, it's important to understand that uh, we have the abort method over here. And one, uh, well, example of how you can apply it, right? So uh, in my test, what I'm doing is a simple uh, test with uh, a demo name here, loading the website without CSS and using the page. Um, I'll be going to the website that I just showed you before, the one that the Playword has for us. And you can see that I'll be I'll be trying to avoid or aborting the request for the demo player at the dev, etc. Right. So when I do this and I send the aborts, you're gonna see that when I load it, we have no styles for my to do's application. As you can see, it doesn't have a beautiful uh, UI anymore. <laughs> right. So that's it. Guys. That's the first application of how you can mock data. I'm sorry, mock a network how you can handle, monitor it, and abort the simple request. Let's continue with the example to uh, to understand how you can um, mock API requests. All right, masters, as you can see here in my local host in the application that I have uh, running in my computer, you can see that I have this uh, request as soon as I load the application. This is a request that is going to bring the data from the API by default. 
as you can see in the response, it is an array, right, with a couple of objects inside. Every single object is going to represent an entity in the UI. As you can see, the buy milk to do is here with the completed property in false. That's why you not see a cross line here, all right? But it's because of how it is configured by default and how the response is here, okay? It has also an ID. That's important to understand as well. So now that you see why um, the information is populated in the UI, I want to explain you how you can intercept this API request and change the data that you can see by default in the UI with some specific one that you need for your test case. Okay, so let me copy this particular URL and let's open Visual Studio Code. Let me show you the second describe that I have in my file. Okay, we're going to call this test suite mock data using playwright, but now we're going to change the method from abort to fulfill. You can see that now uh, here in the line 41, I'll be using route.fulfill instead of route.abort like this. Okay, let me explain you how you can do it. Well, as you can see, I, I have pasted the URL that I just told you before, right? And you can see that as soon as I have route that particular URL, well, I'll be using the same syntax than before. I'll be using now a sync to uh, use the route that I have found. And inside of this a uh, callback function, right? You can see that, well, I have created a JSON file here. No, not a JSON file, I'm sorry, a JSON uh, constant variable. And this is going to be the key. You can see a very similar structure than the one that I have in my response here when I was checking with you uh, how the UI populated the information. It is an array, right? Here you can the array. You can see the array. And in this particular case, we have two JSON or two objects in the in the default and the original one, but now we're gonna have only one. A JSON or object in this particular case, okay? You can see that this object is going to have the completed property set to true. The ID is going to be different. Let's call this 100 and the title is going to be mocked completed to do. It means that when th this title is going to be equivalent to what you see in the to do's application in the UI, right? So as soon as you have the JSON that you want to use, you can replace the original information with a new one using this particular line of code. Await route that fulfill and then as parameter you send your JSON file. And that's it guys. When I when you go to the page again, right? And when when I do it with playwright, you're gonna see that now instead of having the two original to do's in your application you're going to have only one completed with the title that you required. And that's how you can mock data using Playwright. And well, that's the example that I wanted to show you in this video. If you want to see an example of how you can modify API responses, well, let me know in the comment section and we, we can take a look at uh, what is the difference and how you can do it without any kind of issue. So masters, I appreciate your uh, attention hope that you can hit the like button subscribe and um well uh, just i just wanted to tell you once again thank you very much for all the support and let me know in the comment section if you like it or not i appreciate any feedback that you can provide me as well and see you in the next one bye bye